Welcome to Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat. Got the man cub with me again today, and we've yep. been doing some videos. Last week we did a video. You had asked me a question about arc force in this machine. Yes, sir. And there was one other setting that we were discussing, and that is the hot start. Yep. And on our arc force, we're going to run off this same plate. We used arc force and got a substantial root in, and we've, sef we've saved this plate so that we can run fill passes. And Great. I want to show you what this hot start will do when we're running 7018. What's the, what's the biggest problem we run into when we're running 7018 fills and caps? When you're striking an arc and uh... Get kind of a cold start yeah. and not leave a little porosity, a couple of little... I mean, I've done it. I don't know who hasn't uh, done it. Oh yeah, I've done it quite a few times. And it just sure. happens. And so, you know, we, we do subtle techniques to get rid of it. We long arc okay. for just a second, let the rod heat up, yep. get going. We put it down, try to blend in and weld through that. So I want to make an adjustment here, and I want to show you what this extra little boost will do when we're stick welding. We want to go 332, 7018, and I want to, I want to, so we've got, this was the arc force, and I'm gonna turn that back down to where we were before, where we ran it smooth. All right. That's not what we're gonna adjust here. That, now we're doing the hot start. All right. So it's set at 20. Let's just go to zero. Like it, like it doesn't have anything, just flat zero. Right. No hot start at all. No hot start all whatsoever. Right. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll select that, and we're at 80 amps. And then we'll just we'll we'll do one rod like that, and All then right. I'll turn this up to 50 percent, and we'll see what value we get out of this. It should have a should have a couple of seconds of of a higher amperage to get going, and then we'll continue our weld as normal. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. You, Let's do get this. Get your hood on. So, Mike, I want to do I want to do two short welds, both of them with zero hot start feature in there. Start out down here on bottom, cold start. All right. No hot start. No hot start. All right, watch this start here because it should be. All right. Roughneck. Yes, arr, arr, arr. Didn't leave anything. You know, force a habit. I'm always going to do. I'm probably always looking to do a little bit of that long arc start. So let's do that again. And All I right. want you to watch closely what happens with the rod when we're starting. Okay. You can kind of tell it's just kind of just kind of cold. Doesn't yeah. really do anything. So there's our restart. Yeah. And it's not. I mean, you know, it's blended in there. Yeah. But you know, again, force of habit. You're kind of letting that rod get going. Now I'm going to add 50% hot start in this in this feature over here. So I'm going to go back to parameters. So I'm going to select hot start and I'm going to go to 50%. It's 50% of over eight. How does that 50% work? Can you explain that it's to me? It's going to be, it, it should be a higher value. It's like it's adding, I'm at 80 amps. Yeah. It should, to my understanding, is 50% of 80 amps is 40, so it should go around somewhere around 120. Understood. For a couple of seconds, and then it'll go away. But oh, okay. you should notice a much, 
I want to say a much more active, hotter start. That's right. what you should see. Gotcha. And it'll be fairly quick. You ready? Yep. got a little bit different blend here. Oh yeah. It's actually just a little bit wider. But right. you notice that a couple of seconds it was noticeably much hotter. Yep. And that's a benefit. Awesome. Oh yeah, I'll definitely I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that one more time. Now I'm gonna do something a little different here. I'm gonna start real close to my crater. All right. And I don't normally do that, you know, by habit because I've been doing this so many years that I kind of start up here and long arc a little bit, let the rod get settled down. But this one, I'm actually just kind of force myself to set this right in the crater. And that's something I never do, but I'm, I'm just going to experiment and see what it does here. Okay. <laughs> starting right in the crater yeah that was and impressive. That's something that I you know I, I just I'd have to kind of, if I was doing this all the time then I'd have to relearn and adjust my technique but I think that's beneficial of just a good crispy blast hot start right real close to the crater decent blend you know normally we're cleaning our crater we want that good hot crispy start to to uh, to blend in and everything so Kind of a cool feature, huh? Oh yeah, that's a nice tool. Yep. For sure. Yeah, I like it. I mean, that you know, if you're doing this, you're quick, accurate, good hot start, blend that in and just keep right on going. Thanks for watching Weld.com and we appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well. Thanks for watching Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffitt. And I'm Man Cub. Thank you. Man Cub. Man Cub. How'd you get that nickname or do I even want to know? I'm not a man or I'm not, I don't know. Is this going somewhere? <laughs> no, I don't have nothing. You want to know what my nickname is? I ain't tell, I'm not going to tell you. All right, I'm still, still I'm not the at the point of the kid, but I'm like right in the middle of changing. I'm starting to sprout some hairs. <laughs> God. Hey, I'm getting ready to set up and do this, uh, this hot start right. demo and everything. Yeah. Got 332, 7018. 332, 7018. You think I ought to run straight CO2 or put the 982 on there? Uh, the 78. Shut team. up. You were answering a question from two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs>